Hello, everybody. The Fruitland Police Department have put out an age progress photo of Michael Vaughn, Michael Monkey Vaughn. So I wanted to share that with you and also a police report. I mean, a news article. I apologize. So after three years, this is what they believe Michael Monkey Vaughn could look like. Let me make sure. Let's do that. And that is the photo that he could look like today. That's the picture from when he went missing. Another picture. Oop. Again, that is the photo. And here is the news article I wanted to share with you guys. Let's let the ad play out. near his home. I'm your neighborhood reporter Leslie Solis with the new images investigators hope will help bring him home. Everybody came and helped, you know, people with their drones and helicopters and you name it. We were out. Everyone was out looking. Fruitland mom Kara Burke remembers the day three years ago when five-year-old Michael Vaughn was reported missing. Um, the fact that it's still technically an ongoing investigation, um, as a parent, that would be really hard. She joined search crews as they scoured surrounding areas looking for the little boy lovingly called Monkey, who still hasn't been found. As the search enters its third year, police are hoping a new age progression picture will help bring him home. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children releasing a new image of what Michael Vaughn would look like now at eight years old. Michael's mom shared a statement to mark his birthday last month, writing in part, quote, this is the third birthday Michael hasn't been home. Today, we are celebrating the day Michael brought joy and love into this world. So our family will have his favorite chocolate cake and his baby sister is going to open his presents for him. Nobody forgets. We just we just keep moving forward. Kara is holding out hope that Michael might be out there somewhere safe. For the family's sake, she prays he'll come back home. And even though time goes by, that's what we're going to continue to pray for. So, yeah. If you have any information that can help investigators' efforts, you're asked to contact Fruitland Police. In Fruitland, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Leslie Solis, for Idaho News 6. Well, hopefully with that photo or putting his name back out there, somebody will say something. Thank you all for watching. Remember to hit the like button. Let's get Monkey's name back out there and see if that photo does help. And hopefully... Brandy will get some answers, and I will talk to you guys all soon. I love you all. Have a great day. Bye, guys.